hello everyone in today's video we are going to discuss a question that was asked in the gate examination year 2003 the question is based on you know solving the complex integrals and uh, the question reads like this let gamma be the curve that is given to be 2 plus 4 cos of theta where theta lies between 0 and 2 pi and then we are defining two integrals i1 and i2 and the first one is uh, dz upon z minus 1 and second one is dz upon z minus 3 then we have to actually you know find the relationship between them you know either i1 is equal to i2 or i1 is twice times i2 and all that right so we'll solve it now solving a complex integral is a very easy you know uh, it's it's not a big deal but you now to be familiar with the with the kind of the region they are asking us you know us to find it in is 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 a little bit of job you know to find to find what kind of the region we are getting and if you if you look at here the, the gamma is 2 plus 4 but it's a special kind of a geometrical figure and we will just you know try to discuss it a little then we will go and solve this by you know well-known Cauchy's integral formula you know using the winding number and all that's very easy but this thing is to be uh, discussed and we will you know give some time to this and the rest is it's very easy it's a straightforward work but this thing will you know try to know something out of this right now if you look at it i, I can write it as uh, gamma gamma of a plus b cosine of theta i put here minus no problem i can write it as a plus minus b sine of theta and you know this uh, equation is of what we call them lemma sense right we call them lemma sense that is l i m a c o n s we call them lemma sense now you have to use Keep one thing in mind a and b both are positive right so whenever there is a, a sine a minus b cos of theta we must take it you know for granted that b is positive so the sine is associated with the cosine and here if it is a minus b sine of theta we must you know think like this that negative sine is assigned associated with sine of theta okay uh, these you know this is the equation of lemosons they are, they are four in number right and uh, i will you know try to discuss them how to get the figure exactly and then that will you know uh, ease the question how it is solved right now there are uh, conditions if, if we look take case first that is this a can be less than b okay when a is less than b that implies a upon b is less than 1 a upon b is a less than 1 okay also now if you, you can take case second as this that a is equal to b in that case a upon b is 1 and uh, this is a well known we call it at that time cardioid right cardioids right when a is equal to b and we will just you know come here we will write a plus a cos cosine of theta a minus um, a cosine of theta or do you write here a plus b sine of theta a minus b sine of theta then in that case we are, we are discussing cardioids right 
but here if you if you look at here it's 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 the spatial type this is the chromosomes with and in a loop that is i can write it as make a rough sketch of it i'm not very good at drawing but i will try my level best okay It will come like this, come like this, and this, right? Well, in this case, right, even A is less than B, you have to just remember this point and this point. This is positive A, this is negative A. And this point, if you take this, it is the difference. And this one, this is B plus. Okay? When A is less than B, A is equal to B. In this case, we call it a lemosons. Right? So if you look at our question now, now if you just compare this with what we have discussed is, you can try it. Here, so we will get a figure of this type. So, if we uh, try to draw the figure for this question. Now the region that we will be we'll be getting is uh, something like this, right? And uh, this point here is two, and this is negative two, and uh, this point is going to be two, and this point is going to be six. Okay, two and six. That's it. That is the work we need to do do before solving the first one and the second one okay now let me you know write here for the integral one which is equal to this is gamma it is d z upon z minus one now gamma is this now by cauchy's integral formula using winding number this is equal to on this one well, from here you can say right it is 2 pi i and our f of z here is 1 so it is 1 now we can find the winding number of 1 What's the winding number, right? First of all, we have to locate where the one lies. One lies somewhere here. Okay. It's one here. So now we have to find the winding number of one. Now, what's the winding number? Right. We must know what is the winding number. Firstly, then we can just solve it, have a crack at it. What's the winding number? You have to just... You must you know, know what's the winding number. We suppose let gamma be closed curve. Okay, in complex plane C and A be any point not lying on gamma, then 
WN, that is the winding number, is defined to be number of times gamma wraps around A and is denoted by N of gamma A. But wrapping the A around, you know, it has to be anti clockwise direction rather than the clockwise. As I will show, try to show here, it is. Say this is my gamma, and in an anti clockwise direction, I have a number A here. Then this curve wraps around A just once. So for this, I can write gamma of A is equal to 1. Now take a point A here. And I am just getting it like this and this. Starting here in the clockwise direction, going this way, this way, this way, this is. Here at this point of time, uh, it is gamma of A is 2. Calling this to be gamma. So you can say the number of times you know this curve engulfs in this point and the number of times it makes the wall around it right so this is the explanation little bit of explanation about of the winding number now if you look at here uh, about uh, you know this one then the winding number for one comes out to be just the one okay so it is two phi and i only right so now this is i1 we have solved the integral i1 now we will look upon i2 right we'll just try to find the value of i2 using the same way that is here i2 is equal to integral over gamma it is dz upon z minus 3 uh, if, if you look at it, so singularity here is 3 again and uh, 3 lies somewhere here, but uh, Oh, no, no, we have just you know made a mistake here And the winding number for one that will come out to be 2 Okay, this will be 4 Y and I okay now, but for this 3, 3 lies somewhere, but this curve engulfs it only once. So in this case, our i2 will be directly equal to 2 pi i, winding number of 3, and f of 3. That is 2 pi i, that is 1, and this is 1, that is 2 pi i okay now if you see here or i1 is 4 times pi i but this is 2 i pi i so you can write 2 times i2 is equal to 4 pi i and then substitute so the value here, so it is i1 is r2. So that's it. i1 is twice i2. This is the correct option. Now, the thing that was, you know, supposed to be learned here was this. Okay. And I hope you have understood this. We will try to, you know, solve another question when it will, when it will come, you know, uh, to card yards. Right. I will try to show you the shape of that. How, how that is formed, right? So this is it. Thank you for watching.